Hello students, I am teacher Vanya D'Souza. Today we will be learning chapter number 12, EVS lesson from standard 5th, what if it finishes. Before we begin the lesson, let us understand what the writer means by saying, what if it finishes. Is he referring to food, water or sunlight? To look into this answer, we will have to continue with the lesson. So student, let me ask you one question. Do you like traveling? You must be traveling many places. If you are taken for a school picnic by bus, what will you see on the road? Name some vehicles which you see on the road. Some will say cars, some will say buses, scooters, bikes and etc. Yes, we see these vehicles on the road. Will anybody say bicycle? No. It's a bitter truth that this nowadays we have very less use of bicycle. So students tell me what these vehicles run on? They require some food. Can you name that food? Yes, petrol and diesel. Petrol and diesel are like food for the vehicles. They are called as fuel for the transportation. There are four main modes of transportation. First, roadways, vehicles which run on the road like the buses, cars, scooters. Then we have railways like the train. The third one, waterways. Here we have cargo ship, cruises, submarines, boats and last is the airways. Here we have airplane, helicopter, space shuttle and etc. So do you know students all these vehicles run on what? The answer is same petrol or diesel. It acts like a fuel for them. So what do you mean by fuel? Let us see. The substance that can be burned to produce heat or power is called as fuel. Fuels also give out harmful products like smoke and soot which can cause air pollution and health problems like cough, cold, headache, nausea and many other health related diseases. Without fuel we cannot survive also. There are three types of fuels. Let us see. First, the solid. Under solid we have coal, cow dung cake and wood. Second is liquid like the petrol, diesel and kerosene. Thirdly, we have in gas state that is natural gas, hydrogen and biogas. There are three types of fuel which is used by men. Now students, I have two pictures on the screen. I want you to note the differences between them. Yes, in the first picture we have a car which is giving out a black color smoke and in second picture we have group of people riding on their bicycle with happy faces. So students, vehicles which run on petrol or diesel give out smoke which is harmful for us and our environment. It causes diseases related to lungs, eyes and skin. But whereas bicycle don't need any fuel, so it doesn't give out any smoke. It is called as eco-friendly vehicle. It makes us healthy also. So student, one question will be there in your mind. Where do you get this petrol from? Is it from the mall or market? Does anybody know the answer? Yes, we get petrol from petrol pump. Has anybody been there? Most of you must have been there. What do you notice? A long queue of vehicles. It may be bike, cars, buses or any vehicles which run on petrol or diesel. Have you noticed the rate of the petrol or diesel these days? Is it cheaper or expensive? Let us see. 
on the screen i have the rate which is going on in goa petrol is 78.51 rupees and diesel is 75.42 this rate varies in each state of india also i have in chennai in 2002 petrol was 28 rupees in 2007 it was 47 and now in 2020 it has raised to 69 and diesel in 2002 it was 18 rupees in 2007 it was 33 and in this year it has raised to 66 can you tell me the reason why this must have happened yes if you see around the vehicles are going on increasing this cause demand on petrol and diesel to meet every person need the rates are going on increasing now students you must be thinking if this is the problem why don't people make new petrol and diesel but you won't know from where we get petrol and diesel so let us see from where we get this petrol and diesel petrol and diesel are fuels they are products that are obtained from substance called as petroleum which is obtained from deep under the surface of the earth petroleum is a crude oil which contains many impurities and needs to be refined to get petrol and diesel which are used in vehicles how formation of petroleum takes place you must be thinking that this process take just 10 years 5 years or 2 years but you are wrong it take hundred of millions years for coal and petrol to form so let us see the steps marine animals which live in ocean and also the plants die and buried under the ocean bed these are called as fossils with the heat and pressure these get decomposed over millions of years and after decomposition they turn into coal petroleum and gas now to extract this lot of machinery is required to pump it out after pumping out it is refined and converted into petroleum products in india there are few states where there are refineries where you get petrol let us see the states in india which have oil fields are assam maharashtra gujarat and andhra pradesh now you must be thinking if only vehicles are using this petrol and diesel why it is getting over but no there are many other uses of petrol and diesel let us see petrol and diesel are used for dry cleaning for lighting lamps and also as aeroplane fuel it is used as kerosene and lpg what does lpg means it is nothing but liquefied petroleum gas which is used in our cylinders at home it is also used to run machineries it is also used for making plastic and paints so there are ample uses of petroleum so students with all this knowledge we will just summarize what we have studied today we have seen that in this lesson the writer is talking about petrol and diesel if it gets over we also saw that petrol and diesel are not easily available they have to be removed from deep down the earth it is formed over millions of years it is used in many purposes like in vehicles for fuel dry cleaning paints and plastic in machinery and as aeroplane fuel so students with this explanation i end this lesson 
Let us continue in our next part about the solid fuel which the people use. Thank you.